Well, how do you do, everybody? Welcome to football action. Let the conference schedule begin between the new Trier Trevians and the Niles West Wolves. And we're set for the opening kickoff. It is very windy today. Got something of a crosswind. Uh, slightly left to right here on your video. And fumbled on the kickoff. And tries to go to the outside. Gains about two or three yards. And he's brought down inside the 10. Or out of bounds inside the 10 at about the seven yard line. That's where Niles West, the Wolves, Walker take over there. Center. And a little miscommunication. Goes to the outside, just avoided the safety out of bounds at the one. Back to pass. Throws up the middle and incomplete. Some of the coaches from Niles West are saying this might be the worst Niles West team in a long time. But that's what they say. And, you know, still play the game, whatever it is. Quarterback wheels out, can't find anybody. Takes off on his own and is out of bounds back at the seven. But now we're going to have a late hit call. And move the ball up to about the 21-yard line. Tries to cut to the outside. Baker there initially to make the tackle. And the pass. Complete. And again, Daniel Baker. I take that back, Kasanovic. Carson Kasanovic with the tackle. Up to about the 26-yard line. Again, and goes down about at the original line, gains a, about a yard. And that'll bring up a fourth down. The kick away. And the Trevians will let it roll dead. And it rolls dead at the Trevian 40. Three-yard line. They pitch over here to the near side. Pretty good yardage. Brian Sitzer, the ball carrier. And got a first down down to the 41 of the Wolves. Oxeners. Pass incomplete. Carson Oxenhurst, uh, Oxen hurt on it. Quarterback, Brian Sitzer, the lone back. Pass, incomplete. Intended for Potter Burns on the near side. Donovan Perkins with some pretty good yardage. Down inside the 10. Brought down at about the nine or eight. The handoff. And Sitzer, the ball carrier, but flag goes down and it's gonna come back on a hold. Donovan Perkins, the ball carrier. Down to about the 11 yard line. Oxenhurst, pass, complete, touchdown. Carson Kasanovich with the reception of the Oxenhurst. Pass, and Dable's kick is good, and the Trevians take an early 7 0 lead. The kick away, and that's going to sail into the end zone for a touchback. Let's take it at 20. 
Far side. And finally written down. A couple of Trevians over there. Sam Tomlinson among them. Over here to the near side. And dragged down heavily by Duke Ogus behind the line. Pass and nearly intercepted. Flag goes down. Rockers pass tipped and intercepted by a late flag. There is a flag on the floor. It is Trevian football. And it was where it was intercepted, so it must have been against Niles West. Hand off to Sitzer and he got nothing. Lost a yard or two. Up in the back. Metro Chicago Sports Network. Football action. New trip Trevian football and flags go flying. And it was a timeout before the time ran out. Back to pass. Carson looks, throws, complete. Does a curl. And then gains about another three or four yards on the end of that. That was Carson Kasanovich with the reception. It came back anyway on a hole. And Octoner ahead to the 35 yard line. Where he brought down. Pass, looking, looking, looking. Throws long and complete touchdown. Again, Oxen hurt to Carson Kasanovich. He tried for the PAT by Dable. The kick is up and it is good. And the new tre Trevians lead 14 to nothing. First quarter. The kick away, taken at the 10. They tried for a handoff, and that didn't quite work. And brought down at about the 11 yard line. Quarterback keeps it himself and gets up to about the 18. Turned the corner on August and couldn't do it. Hand off and nothing. Lost a couple of yards. And fourth down. And the Wolves will kick it away. Bad snap. Kick still away. Short one, and Trevins would just let it roll dead. Ended up getting only about five yards off the original spot. And whistle. And a timeout was taken. Right, Sitzer. Sitzer gets the first down, stays on his feet, gets inside the 20. Down to the 19-yard line of the Niles West Wolves. Uh, miscommunication. Busted play. Hudson Hurd out of bounds at the 15-yard line, 10-yard uh, line, rather. They still have their totem pole from the days when they used to be the Niles West Indians. Down here to our right. By Oxenhurt. He gets down to the five and stumbles out of bounds at about the two. And a handoff. Trying to back the way in, and I don't think he got it. Second down. 
Setzer. With the ball carrier. Again to Brian Setzer, and this time he's in for the touchdown. And we're still in the first quarter here. The PAT. The kick is up, and it is good, and it is 21-0. The kick away and take it at the 10 up ahead and got to about the 21 or make it the 22. Niles West with the football and Duke Olgas. Next year. Drasden brings him down for a sack. Back to pass. Pass is incomplete. Charlie Hop, Mahobin on the coverage. Again, incomplete pass. The Trevians have a tremendous size advantage over Niles West this year. They kick away. And the numbers advantage, too. Baker brings it over to the other side and only ended up gaining about two yards doing it. And first and ten, and I think we end up with a penalty thrown in there anyway. Passes the plate. And forward, that was Mike Andre. Correction Trevian first down. Another first down for the Trevians. Pass. Trevian's big time homecoming game pass incomplete. Next week in real time. And it's against Evanston. And Evanston is a much improved team. Should be a, one of the top games in the Central Suburban South this year. Straight ahead for the first down. And now we're done with the first quarter. We'll be back with more. New Trader leads at 21 nothing. This is the Metro Chicago Sports Network on the cable and the internet. Texting and cell phone use while driving is the number one cause of traffic accidents in Illinois. A message into public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Second quarter. Trevian with the football. Inside the red zone and in for the touchdown is Brian Sitzer. On the first play in the quarter. Babble's kick is up and it is good. Scores now 28 to nothing. Taking that about the two. Straight ahead, got up to about the 15 yard line before being brought down. First and 10 from the 15. Another one of the key games of the conference this year. Another big play tonight. Evanston's playing Main South tonight. Back to pass. Rolls out, throws, and partially blocked. And that'll bring up a fourth down. The kick away. And Baker, Daniel Baker. Takes it up to the 36-yard line of the Niles West Wolves. That's where the Trevians have it, inside Niles West territory. And a big hole, some opening. And off to the races is Brian Sitzer, and he has his second touchdown of the quarter.
PAT is good. And the Trevians add to their lead here. The kick away. And taken at the 10. Got up to the 15 yard line. Quarterback keeps it himself. Gets a first down. Up to the 28 yard line. And the quarterback keeps it. Gets another first down. Up at the 40. On the sideline, but ended up losing two yards. And forced out of bounds by Ethan Montgomery. Quarterback back to pass, throws incomplete. A little high on the throw. That's the problem not having height. There's a penalty there anyway. I think roughing the passer. Forty-four yard line of the Trevians now. Back to pass. With the size New Trier has. The shorter quarterback's gonna have his problem. Throwing over the tall trees on along that front line. Straight ahead, gains a few. Pass to the near side and incomplete. He's bobbling it and got hit hard. Uh, Mitchell Shelman. Back to pass. Looking. Takes it out of bounds without gaining a yard. Second down, 10. Four Niles West. Back to pass. Going long and overthrowing. Incomplete. And back to pass. Steps out of the pocket, throws, and intercepted. Well, that was fourth. I think that was fourth down. I think you might have done better just to knock it down. We're here on the near side. Donovan Perkins, the ball carrier. And Perkins up to the... 40 yard line. Trevian first down. Oxen hurt. Takes it himself. Pretty good yardage, and he's off to the races. On the run. Is he going to make it? Yeah, he makes it all the way in for the touchdown. Drive for the PAT. The kick is up. And it is good. Sixth touchdown of the first half for the Trevians. And the kickoff taken at 10. Out of bounds at about the 22. But at the 21. Quarterback keeps it himself. And gained about two. Three, something like that. Down he goes, fumble. Recovery, let's see. Are they giving it to the Trevian? Yes. David Davidkov with the initial tackle on the far 
far side. The quarterback's been changed. It's now Peyton uh, Schilder. And the running back, Cameron Powell. Paul got back to the original line of scrimmage. Hildert to Paul. Paul takes off over here to the near side. Stiff arm and forced out of bounds at about the one or two yard line. We'll make it the three. Came back anyway on a hole. Got back to the original line, I guess. On the forward progress, he gave it to him. Again, Paul, this time takes off on the far side. Gets the first down. And is finally forced out of bounds at about the five-yard line. First and goal to go for the Trevians at the five. Hand off to Paul and Looks like you lost a couple. And off to Cresswell. And Cresswell got back to the original line. And off to Powell. And Powell also is not going to get much. And Travis have fourth down. They're going to go for the field goal. with a, about a 21-yarder. And good for the touchdown. For the uh, <laughs> field goal, rather. So he's the same touchdown in this game. For the field goal, and the Trevians lead it now 45 to nothing. Touchback on the kickoff from the field goal. And Niles West gains a yard. Second down. This one's going to go quick because the whole second half's going to be running time here. On the far side, out of bounds. And the handoff. And again, Russell. Russell down. Shellman doing the job. But Shellman back to pass. Going long. And Incomplete, out of bounds. <laughs> the far side. And runs out of room. Back to pass. And brought down from behind. He did get a yard out of that fourth down. argument is about here. We're just going to let the time run That's out for the half. The That's what it was. So we're at halftime and the Trevians lead it big time. We'll be back with more here on the network in just a month. This is the Metro Chicago Sports Network on the cable and the internet. A good athlete means respect, sportsmanship, citizenship, and teamwork. A message in the public interest for the Metro Chicago Sports Network. You can watch this game on demand on YouTube. The kickoff to start the second half. And the Trevians will let it bounce out for the touchback. Out of the end zone. As we said, we've got a strong wind blowing. Shoulder and the handoff. And now Chriswell, the ball carrier. 
up to the 29 yard line yard short of the first down the snap the handoff Paul and we got the first down but just a yard more And a fumble. The question is who recovered it? And the man scrum in there. It is the Trevians. Recovered their own fumble, but they lost a lot of yardage out of that. And somewhere around the Wisconsin line now for the first down. Hand off. And up to 21. Third and off. Third down. And not much there. That's well. Chris Well, the ball three. And the Trevians will kick it away here. First time today. Short. Better you taken at the 35. First and 10 for the Wolves. And written out of bounds with a loss of a yard. Loss of two. 12 to go for the first down. For the Wolves, the pass complete. And down he goes. After the game of four. Gain of two. Quarterback keeps it. Picks up another two. Back to pass. Looking, going long. And this time, on the fourth down, he's smart enough to let it drop. And the Trevians. Take over on downs. Flag right off the bat. Illegal we'll procedure, I guess. Bad snap picked up. And I'll pay in for a yard or two. Henry Finnis. Uh, we have an opportunity to some of the players we don't normally get to see on our broadcast right now. Trevians up big time. We're in the running time clock. And whistle. The play's been rolling dead. They kept going for a while. The pitch. The far side. Got the first down, still on his feet. And gets it to Niles West territory with a nice run. Tom Cresswell. The run. Well, he comes back to a penalty on the end of that one. And a personal foul. And Cresswell again. Rumble's close. It was not Cresswell. I take that back. Jonathan Taylor. It's to the 49. Now Cresswell. Straight ahead. And we're done with the third quarter. We'll be back with more here on the network in just a moment. Watch this game on demand on YouTube. This is the Metro Chicago Sports Network on cable and the internet. Parents who host lose the most. Don't be a party to teenage drinking. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. We go to the fourth quarter. 
The pitch and the run. Down to the 30 yard line. Gain of about five. To Henry Make it four. Six to go for the first down. Zillow to Cuswell. Cuswell finds an opening. Breaks through and in for the touchdown. Second time today. One of the first two plays of the quarter. Trevies have scored. And the kick is good. And the Trevians in a route here. The kick taken at the three yard line. Along the near side and forced out of bounds. At about the 22 yard line. Niles West Wolves. They have yet to win a game this year. This is their fifth of the year. Trevians are three and one on the year going into this game. They'll be four and one tonight. Unless some sort of unbelievable miracle happens. Niles West football on the 27 yard line. They're on 27. Sack by Vincent. Jacobin brings up fourth down. I snap. Kick away. And fair caught. And then he's hit. And there's going to be a flag for that one. Interfering with a fair catch. That was the. Uh, Robert Saja. He pitched back and Powell, the ball carrier. I take that back, that was not Powell. It was Michael Stringer. And off. And again, Stringer, the ball carrier. Pitch again to Stringer. Dipsy doodles around a little bit. Gains the first down yardage and then down. But it came back on the penalty. And off. Stringer. And gets back down close to the red zone. A little bit shot, shy of it. Now Stringer again and I think he got the first down and inside the red zone. He came back again on a penalty. Springer, yet again the ball carrier, stays on his feet and gets back to where he was. About the 21 yard line. Oh, fumble, picked it up. And then got back to the original line, maybe gained an extra yard out of it. And again they go with the Stringer. And he busts through for the touchdown. I take that back that time it was not Stringer. It was uh, Henry Dennis. Dennis with the touchdown. The kick is up and it is good. Ryan Novichel on the kick. And out of bounds. Wolves will take it at the 35. Far side. And pulled out of bounds. After a gain of a few yards. Eight 
about six or seven on that. Over here to the near side, it's gonna be a first down. He's again spun around and out of bounds. Take it down, rather. He didn't go out of bounds. That midfield strike. Thankfully, on both sides of the ball, we're coming to the end of this one. The far side and again out of bounds. At about the 40 yard line. South just managed to barely beat Evanston by a touchdown. Oh, that's all the more important for Evanston next week as they take on New Trier. And that'll do it for this game. We'll be back in just, well, yeah, we'll be back in just a moment to finish this one up. Trevians win at 59 nothing. We'll be back. You're watching the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Play smart, play hard, practice harder. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Well, there's really not much you can say about this one other than to say the Nutria Trevians in one of the biggest blowouts they've had in a number of years. I can't think of anything that's close to this. Lopsided of score in about... Uh, ten, yeah, about 22 years or so. The last one I can think of. It's uh, somewhat close to this. But uh, what's important on the Trevian side of the ball is that uh, they'll go into the homecoming game and the big game with the Evanston Wildcats rested and ready for them, at, and Evanston coming in after a tough loss to the Maine South Hawks. So that'll do it for us for this game. Stick around for more sports action on the network and for all of us. Hope you enjoyed the broadcast wherever you may be on our network line. And we say, as always, thanks for watching, and so long, everybody.